Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and today's video. So the Swedish word of the day is bracelet, which is a Swedish armband. Armband. I'm not wearing a armband today, but nonetheless, today we are tackling and decluttering my blush collection. I feel like my entire makeup collection, as I've said, has... Oh, it's just gotten way too much. So I felt like I needed to do like a declutter series. Uh, also, my preference when it comes to blushes and all of that has definitely changed. I used to be like a... Uh, what is this? <laughs> I used to be a blush powder. Damn, that's the word I'm looking for. Powder girl, but I'm not. I'm a cream girl right now and it's basically all i use so i still want to keep some powders because some of them i really enjoy some i don't so yeah this is just gonna be a declutter i'm gonna start off just featuring the products and blushes that i have in my shop my stash because um those are obviously not in this drawer so before you get like super disgusted this is not my fault that it isn't clean, okay? This is Nude Stick's fault. So this is the Sherry Blossom Babe, and I know this looks disgusting, but do you see? This is like plastic coming off. I've tried to clean this numerous times. It's just not really working. Oh, and by the way, if you are not subscribed, then please do so. I am uh, doing like a declutter series, so I am decluttering my entire makeup collection. I've done highlights eyeshadow palettes now we're doing blushes they might not have gone up in that order but nonetheless that's what it is so this is the cherry blossom babe i just love the nude sticks blushes i think that they are absolutely amazing they're so beautiful and they're not going anywhere then we have this one also from nude sticks this is tiger lily queen just looks like that such a beautiful um like pinky peachy shade and then i have a sweet peach peony that i have almost panned you can see damn this camera you can see that i don't have that much left so i'm trying to pan it but that is just what that one looks like super neutral and pretty beautiful then i have two mac ones right here that is also in my shop my stash that i'm just gonna show you and that is the MAC. This is so dirty because, well, it looks dirty because it gets like hair and all of that in it, which is like the problem with cream products. But this is just the harsh reality. This is what everyone's makeup looks like. It's just that they don't really feature it unless they like clean it right afterwards. But if you're working and having like a job, who has the time for that? I just cleaned it out a little bit. Whoop. Oh my god so this is what it looks like this is one of their glow play blushes it's like a hybrid with hybrid between a cream and a powder and this is the shade blush please super pretty and then i recently just got this one during black friday which is warm soul because when everyone is raving about it it's hard to resist something so that's my excuse, but that is just what it looks like. Super pretty as well. Let's dive into this collection. I already know I'm not getting rid of any of my milk makeup ones because I love them and I truly use them. So we have this one, which is the shade Quickie. I know it looks terrifying, but it's not as terrifying. Okay, it looks a little bit terrifying still, but this, you know, you can sheer it out and it's not as terrifying as it looks like. Then we have Swish, which is like a Barbie pink. Then we have my personal favorite, which is Rally. And you can see I've worn off the dome and I've used it to this point and it was like this. I know it's not a lot, but in the blush world, everyone knows that panning blushes is like impossible, especially when they're like this big. But this is Rally. And then finally we have Perk, which is this beautiful shade. Looks like that. Not getting rid of any of those. I'm also not getting rid of this one. This is from, damn. This is from Nude Sticks in the shade Poppy Girl. 
so pretty uh, especially now for like Christmas and fall so winter um, not getting rid of that I am getting rid of this one from Kevin Aquan or Kevin Aquan <laughs> sorry <laughs> this is the Neo blush rose cliff and I mean it's pretty and all but I I tested it out and it wasn't that impressive I had a hard time getting anything on my face so that one is going this one from birds and bees in the shade shy pink is so pretty this powder blush is absolutely beautiful if you love a uh, pinky uh, powder blush I definitely recommend this one it's absolutely incredible on the skin so I'm keeping that I don't think I've used my Instain blushes in forever. This one is so unique and this is like a color that I know my mom loves. She has this because she saw it in my collection and was like, oh, I need it. So she went out and purchased it. But this is Houndswood. I have a hard time saying that. No, Pinstripe. Pinstripe. It's actually very, very pretty, but it kind of reminds me of this one from the balm as well, which is Cabana Boy. This is a little bit more quote unquote wearable because it's not as intense. So if I'm gonna keep one, and I'm not even sure I'm gonna keep Cabana Boy, then I'm gonna keep Cabana Boy. So Pinstripe is going. Toil is also going. I have used her more than the other ones in the past I've even I've even used her as an eyeshadow but I just feel like it's time for them to go because they're so pigmented and it's like I'm keeping them because I used to love them but I haven't used them that much in like a year a year and a half so it's like is that really worth it then and then the same thing with this one this is the Balm's Hounds Wolf Hounds Hounds Wolf Hounds Wolf Hounds wood, hounds wood, hounds tooth, hounds tooth. You know what? This is going. I'm gonna get rid of Cabana Boy as well, and I'm also actually gonna get rid of Down Boy. I loved. You guys know I've talked about these so much on my channel. This is Down Boy, as I said from um, the balm. This is just like a pinky, beautiful blush, but. I never use it, so I'm not gonna keep it. Then we're gonna tackle Udazai. This is the Elva Fruit Blushers. So this is the shade Apricot Girl, and the thing that bugs me about these is that they are not suitable names. Apricot Girl looks like this. I wouldn't call this an apricot, but fine. And then we have Ripe papaya. This I would not call a papaya. And then lastly, we have sweet peach, which is definitely not a sweet peach. I'm getting rid of all of them. Or maybe, you know what? I'm gonna keep ripe papaya because I think that that color is beautiful. Yeah, that's the shade I'm gonna keep. The other ones are going because I just don't use them. I'm hoping that when I get my collection down, I'm gonna start using like everything. I'm also gonna get rid of this one, which is Bella Rosa from Milani. As you can see, beautiful color. You need the tiniest amount, but this one reminds me a lot of my Holy Grail. Natasha Denona Bloom Palette. Yes, this is obviously a keep. This blush is so pigmented. Oh, maybe they are not the same, but they are similar enough, I think, in a way. So this formula from Natasha Denona, I love. I love this color story. Like, I love this palette. This is like a blush and highlight palette, and I wouldn't change it for anything. So that's kind of what I want to feel with the products that I'm keeping and I don't feel that way about that blush so it's going we have this one from Too Faced that I actually really really love I know it might not look that 
much to the world. This is strawberry, but once you get it on your skin, it's just that amazing and beautiful and perfect color. So that one, I also wanna keep. This was also keep, so moving that out. This is a maybe. This is from CoverGirl, and I really enjoy this. This is the Peach Punch Blush. This is really, really pretty, and it's also, let me lower the brightness a little bit just like that. This is also really, really beautiful. Mm, I'm gonna have that as a maybe. Then this one is from Juvia's Place and that is the color Serfina, I think the color is called. Just looks like that. And that, that is actually really uh, similar to the ColourPop or CoverGirl one. And I actually prefer the CoverGirl one, so I'm getting rid of this one. I'm trying not to pay too much attention to brands um, and stuff like that, like how much they cost. This is from Becca. This is the shade, if you remember, Fox G Love. <laughs> Foxy Love. No, Fox Glove. Fuck. This is a beautiful shade, but if I'm gonna be honest, I purchased it because it was on sale. It is super pretty, but I, I don't use it. So that one is also going, whew, doing a great job. This from Anastasia is hard. I'm gonna put this in my maybe pile. This is from Milani. I used to try and pan this. This is the shade uh, Pink Play. I tried to pan this and it is very sheer and beautiful. So I'm going to have that also as a make. No, I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep that. And then we have this one, which is Bella Bellini. I purchased this because I wanted the Luminoso blush, but this was the only blush I used because Lu Luminoso was sold out. And then I used this and I actually haven't used it because I started hating the color. But now I actually think it looks beautiful, especially with that golden sheen. And I think that this could be really, really pretty um, if you apply your bronzer and then your highlight and then take this just to blend in between them. So I'm gonna keep that. Then we have this one from Fenty, which is the Mimosa Sunrise. And I never use this. I mean, this is so beautiful in theory, but I never use it. So I'm gonna declutter that one. Then we have this one from Revolution, which is Pop My Cherry, such a beautiful like red shade, but I feel like I have my Natasha Denona Bloom uh, highlight palette blush, <laughs> fuck. And then I have Nude Sticks Poppy Girl, so I'm gonna keep that instead because I never use that anyway. Then we're gonna see, this is from The Body Shop, and this is a Lip and Cheek Velvet Stick in the color 20. No, I'm gonna declutter that one. This is ColourPop Under Pressure. That was actually a pretty shade, and I feel like this is a witty, a witty, a witty bit. <laughs> a little bit more matte than my other colors. So I feel like that is unique. I'm gonna keep that. This one from Milani. I need to swatch. Oh, look at that color. But I, if I don't, rem oh yeah, right. This is super sheer. That's why I didn't like it. So I'm gonna declutter that one. We have Pixie in the shade Ruby. This is a little bit more red than that. Yeah, okay, it's definitely not the same shade. That was actually kind of pretty. I'm wondering, I don't wanna keep too many dupes of each other. And I wanna just compare it to Poppy Girl. They are very similar. So, Pixie, bye bye. Damn, I'm in a mood today. This is from the Body Shop as well, and this is Pink Hibiscus. I think this is supposed to be a little bit like a dupe for the Benefit one. Oh, wow. But I'm wondering, is that even gonna. No. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna declutter that one. 
This is from Milk, and this is the Glimmer Glow Oil and Lip Cheek, blah, blah, blah. I don't know which color it is. Maybe it doesn't have a color. And let's swatch this. It looks beautiful. I don't remember how I was feeling about it. Oh, look at that, great. But it actually looks super pretty. Oh, let me just drag this out and be like, oh, play with it a little bit. I know that that isn't supposed to be there, so let's just, that is actually really pretty. That one is Sting. We have two from Nip and Fab. That's like liquid. I am loving creams. Um, I'm not that into liquids, however, because I feel like they are a little bit harder to use. So this is the shade. I'm gonna tell you the shades afterwards. It's gonna blend them out. So that is what they look like. Oh wow, I actually thought I would keep this pinkier one. This is in the shade Sugar Coated, but I'm actually gonna get rid of that, which is this one, and I'm gonna keep that one, which is, I think it's called Making Mauves. No, Mauve Moment, and that one is Sting. Then we have these from MUA, and actually Beauty Bay has started selling these, but you can also purchase these at Superdrug if you are interested, which is where I purchased them. So this is, um, what is this? Watermelon, very intimidating. And this is Misty Rose, which is ah, so pretty. Lower the brightness a little bit again, but I'm getting rid of Watermelon and I'm keeping Misty Rose. Because if I'm not mistaken, this one from Flower Girl, Flower Bomb, Flower Beauty is pretty similar they are definitely not identical but i prefer this because this has a little bit more orange in it than it's like this one that is like kabam in your face you know so i'm keeping this from flower beauty keeping this from mua which was misty rose and i'm decluttering watermelon i already know that i'm keeping pinched this is such a neutral color but I have used it a couple of times on its own, but it's a little bit more like a bronzy shade. And I have actually used it to like blend out certain other shades. So this is just what it looks like on its own. But if we take this one from Flower Beauty and then just take a little bit in here. So this is what the Flower Beauty one looks on its own. And then if we just blend these out, this is the color we get instead. So I really enjoy this one, especially for like blending out other shades. I'm gonna keep both of these from Daniel Sandler because I haven't used them enough. Whoops. So I just wanna keep playing with them. Then we have this one from Makeup Revolution that I actually will declutter. Don't use it. We have this one from Too Faced. And this has also been in a product pan. And I actually really enjoyed some of the shades, so I'm gonna keep that. And I know it looks pretty empty, but it, we have some more. Um, I can just put them right here so that you can see. I'm gonna start off with this one from Natasha Denona. This is the Diamond and Blush Palette. You guys know this is not going anywhere. This is pretty new to my collection and I just absolutely love it. I enjoy this one so much, so this is not going anywhere. We have the Sigma Blush and Cheek Palette. It looks like this. I never used this, so this one is going. We have the Juvia's Place Sahara Blush Volume 2. I never used this one either, so that one is also actually going. We have the Infinity Palette from Linda Hallebari, and this one isn't going, but I mostly use it for the black because I love the black in this one. Don't know if I would keep it if I had like used up the black. 
so maybe it's not a good thing to have it in my blush drawer but I know where it is but you know what I have so many blacks that I actually enjoy right now like most of my ABH palette has a black so the what is it called uh, soft glam and Reese is that the only ones that has it no but no but you know what this one is going as well this one is going as well because it is ridiculous of me to keep it for that reason and then we have two kaleidos ones which is last up this is uh lo-fi rose beautiful and then lo-fi peach also really beautiful so i'm keeping both of those and that's it i'm gonna put everything back and then i can tell you how much i had before how much i kept how much i decluttered so let's do it oh my god is that it no Okay, we had two maybes and I think I'm going to declutter my Anastasia one, which I mean, you're known to my channel, Anastasia is like my holy grail brand. <laughs> so it's hard for me and I'm gonna keep the CoverGirl one because this is just so beautiful and I feel like I don't have that. So I kept this and then the blushes that I have in my shop, my stash. And let's just see how many we got rid of. So I'm keeping 29 blushes I'm keeping, which is, I mean, I know it's it's too much, but it is what it is, 29. I'm getting rid of 24 blushes. I mean, I can probably soon, or not, maybe even now, put my blushes and my bronzers together and get more room. Do you see this? Couldn't we put our bronzers here once we have decluttered them? Let's do it. So I'm off. I'm going to continue to declutter. Hopefully you guys are proud of me because I'm so proud of myself. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give me a thumbs down. Don't forget that you can subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye.